Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Previously we were dealing with edit menu operations and we have completed cut, copy and paste and we have seen a demo of it. In this video we are going to see few more operations that is delete, select all and time date operation. So whenever we are going to delete whatever the text that is selected need to be deleted from the text area and select all has to select all the text and time data has to insert the time data string where uh, the cursor is placed so let's get to this to begin this let's create a class in uh, notepad core and we will call it as edit operation so let's add new I new class here so name it as edit operation So that's it. So make it public so that we can use it in other projects. And you need to have a class here. I mean method here. So public string date time underscore now. So this would be returning and the date time that need to be uh, in the text area so return there's a class called daytime and there is a property called now here this will give the current time and date and we need to convert it as a string so we use two string of two string method so we, this will return the current time and date as string so we will be calling this in main form so let's write this one by one first uh, let's start with select all so this is rather simple we can use text area dot text area is rich text box and uh, we can use select all method of rich text box itself so it's done and uh, next we can go to delete option so in this delete option we need to delete whatever is being selected so we have to have a delete the selected text it's rather easy so text area dot text equal to text area dot text and then we need to use the method called remove it will remove the select, uh, selected text so we need to specify the start index for this and uh, here the start index is selector selection start so it's rather simple in this property will give the start index of the selection in uh, text and we need to also specify how much need to be deleted so for that we can use text area dot selected length selection length yeah so this will so this will like uh, remove the selection the particular string and uh, the particular part that is selected in the whole uh, text area itself so the delete operation is completed by this and next we will go to time time date before writing the code for time date let's create an object edit operation so let's create an object edit operation this is edit operation and uh, let's instantiate it so we can use the function that's that we already implemented here so we can call this here and use it right away the text need to be changed in this method and basically we need to insert the time and date text 
within uh, the text area text so wherever the cursor is being placed in the text area we need to insert time and date information uh, by calling this function in the edit operation so text area dot text equal to text area dot text dot insert here we will be needing a start index for this start index is nothing but a text area dot selection start so this will give uh, the, the location of a cursor where it is being placed and we need to insert time and date uh, information here so we will be calling this method and so wherever the cursor is being placed it will be gi given by this text area selection start and at that point we will be inserting uh, the string that gives date time so this three options are complete here we can see the demo let's build it so let's write something here let's go here and click select all and it's been selected here and we can delete some of this let, let, let me just select this and click delete it's deleted and let me keep it in the middle here so the cursor is here and uh, let's click date and time uh, so the date and time information is being inserted wherever the cursor is placed so this concludes these three options delete select all and time date hope you guys like this video so like and share this video subscribe to my channel for future videos all the code you need is given in the description below you can download it anytime you want thank you